Let's talk about categorical variables and how you can use the four cats package to change and manipulate the different levels and the order in which these categorical variables exist. The four cats package actually does quite a lot more than that. We're just going to get into the basics today for people that are just getting exposed to this for the first time. My name is Greg Martin. This is super duper easy. It's exciting. Let's do this. Boom shakalaka. Okay, to start with, four cats comes with the tidyverse packages. So tidyverse is a way of working in R. These packages expand and extend the functions and and, uh, vocabulary of R, uh, install packages, tidyverse, tidyverse library that calls these packages or loads them. And one of the data sets available within 4Cats that you can use to practice. And by the way, I always use data that you have access to, so you can practice this at home, is the GSS cat data set. Let's have a quick look at that. And it's all about the different marital statuses and religions and denominations, et cetera, et cetera, and TV watching hours of, uh, of a whole lot of, and their political affiliations, their income and their race. It's got a whole lot of data that's quite interesting. Are we gonna use, because some of these are categorical variables, right? Marital status, categorical variable. So we're gonna use this data to uh, illustrate how you use four cats. Okay, so let's dive right in. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. So just for clarity, in R, whenever we talk about categorical variables, R calls them factors, right? And these factors have levels, and each of the possible values that you might have, we call that a level, and these levels have an order, right? Not all categorical variables or factors have a natural order to them in terms of the meaning of that variable. Some do, so uh, small, medium height, and tall. There's a natural order to that, and that's important, and that can be particularly important when it comes to data visualization or tables that you create. Some factors don't have a natural order like that, and it might be the case that if an order isn't stated, it'll just, they'll just be ordered alphabetically. And sometimes a variable has an order uh, to it that's not necessarily important in terms of it being an ordinal categorical variable, but you might want your levels to be ordered in a particular way because of how you want to uh, visualize the data in a, in a plot, for example. So you want to be able to control these things. First of all, let's have a look at, in the uh, GSS cat data set, the marital status, if we list the marital status, if we, if we use the count function so that we count the number of observations or the frequency of each observation, um, and we can see that for each of these factors, we've got, uh, there, you know, there were 17 with no answer, uh, 5,416 never married, 743 separated, et cetera, et cetera. But the order that these are in might not be the order that we want. Okay, they're not ordered in any way that meaningful. Well, it's not a bad order, but anyway, for argument's sake, let's imagine that we want these in a different order. So let's have a look at how to do that. So the four cats package comes with the factor re-level. This is a function, right? And let's first look at the output. Now we've got uh, them in a different order, never married, married, separated, divorced. Let's just compare that to uh, before it was not no answer, never married, separated, divorced. Okay, so it's pretty similar. But anyway, this is a new order. It's one that we've defined. How did we define the order? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We used the factor re-level function, right? Now, so we're taking the marital status, the marital variable. We're using the mutate function that just comes with the tidyverse. And we're going to overwrite the existing marital status variable with this new information that we're providing on the right-hand side of the equal sign, right? And to do that, we're using the factor re-level function that comes with four cats. The first argument is which variable should it look at, in this case, marital. And then you simply list uh, the factors or the levels in the order that you'd like them. And then I've piped that into count so that we can have a look at it and boom shakalaka, it's ordered them in that particular way. And this would apply to data visualization if you were creating a plot, et cetera, et cetera. It would remember the order that you defined. Okay, so that's really, really useful. Factor re-level. What if we didn't want to define the levels manually, but we wanted them to be defined by the frequency of that particular level uh, factor, right? So look at the table that we've got here. Look at what we've done. They now ordered from most common to least common, right? And we did that simply with the factor in freak, in freak. I don't know how you say that uh, function. Let's have a look at the code. GSS cat. Pipe it into mutate. Overwrite marital status with what's ever on the right hand side of the equal sign. Factor in freak, marital. In other words, it just takes the marital status and and orders them by the order of frequency from most to least. Pipe that into count. Boom shakalaka. There's our table. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy.
if we wanted to do the exact opposite, right? So let's say, for example, we wanted it to go from lowest to highest. Well, we've got the factor reverse. Here we go. Let's have a look at the code. Now, interestingly, here we need to use factor in freq and factor reverse together. So first of all, use the mutate function to put them in order of frequency, and it'll naturally put them from highest to lowest, and then use factor reverse or factor rev to reverse that. If we didn't use this first line of code over here, the factor in freak, it would simply take whatever the, you know, this original order and it would do that backwards. And that's not what we're looking for here. Okay, and here's a really useful feature, factor reorder. What does that do? Factor reorders allows you to reorder the levels of a particular uh, categorical variable according to the value in another variable. Okay, so look at this particular plot, right? We've got on the y-axis, we've got different religions, right? Uh, these are all the different religions uh, in this particular survey. And they're ordered in such a way in this plot. And you can assume that the levels, the level of order in the data set now is reflected in the plot. They're ordered in a way that is commensurate with or mapped out against average TV watch time, right? So that's interesting. How did we do that? Let's have a look. First of all, um, uh, we want to create this variable average TV watch time because the original data set had TV watch time, not average TV watch time uh, for each religious group, right? So we start off by saying group by religion, summarize, and we create a column called mean TV, which is app, which is gonna be the average TV watch time. And that's equal to mean, which is average, TV hours, which is the actual variable in the original data set, remove missing values, NA remove, removes not available values, and then pipe that in to, and here's where the magic is, mutate, we're gonna overwrite the existing relig variable. We're not gonna, we could create a new variable but with mutate, but we're gonna overwrite it. And it's going to be equal to, here's the magic, factor reorder, right? And what is it gonna reorder? Relig, which is the religion, comma, second argument, what is it gonna reorder it by? The value in, mean TV, which is the thing that we defined or created in the line of code just above that. And after that, it's a simple box standard GG plot, boom shakalaka, and we get this particular plot. Okay, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I hope that was useful. If you want access to this particular page that I'm looking at at the moment, which you can copy the data from, stick that data straight into R Studio, you can get these annotations that, that explain the, the data. You can click on the link that's on the screen uh, right now, and that will give you access to this particular page. Um, I hope you're doing well. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.